What's up internet? This is Manish from rebellionrider.com. Today in this Oracle database tutorial, we will see how to create a table. I am doing this video on popular demand, so sorry for interrupting SQL function series. We will be continuing with SQL function series after these SQL create table videos. Okay, let's start with a brief intro about SQL table and SQL create table. If we have to define a table in layman language, then we can say that tables are just a collection of rows and columns, but in RDBMS, tables are database objects which helps in organizing data into rows and columns. We can also say that SQL tables are kind of data structure which are used by database for efficient storage of data. To create a table in our database, we use SQL create table command. SQL create table is a type of data definition language also known as DDL. To create a table in your schema, you will require create table system privilege. In our future video, we will see what are system and object privileges and how to grant them to a user. Today for this video, we will be using sample schema HR which already has all the necessary privileges. Okay, let's see the syntax. Create table is an Oracle reserved word or say an Oracle keyword. Whereas table name and column name are user defined. So you can specify whatever name you want to your table and its columns. Every column should separate from each other using commas. Oracle has maximum limit of 1000 columns in a table and no limits on rows. There are three different ways of creating a table in Oracle database. Let's check them out. First, creating a table using command line interface in Oracle database. For demonstrating how to create a table in Oracle database using CLI command line interface, I will be using command prompt. If you are working on a Linux machine, then you can use terminal steps are same in both okay right now i am on my command prompt first of all we have to set the sid of our database over which we want to work i have only one database with sid orcl so now connect to the schema in which you want to create a table i will create a table in hr sample schema so i am going to connect it with hr So now we are in our SQL prompt. Let's apply our create table syntax. I am creating a table by the name of table one. This table has two columns, T1 ID and first name. You can add as many columns as you want. Create table is the keyword and our command also. Table one the user defined name for the table you can give whatever name you want start the parenthesis now give your first column name i will give t1 id along with the data type i will specify number sorry and the size which is optional if you want to give you can specify the size if you do not want to give then it's okay then comma don't forget to put this comma now second column name my second column will be first name this is the second and the last column for this table where k2 and this time i will give 15 as it's the last column for my table so it's not mandatory to put the comma close the parenthesis and terminator and hit enter that's how we create table using command prompt. You can check your table structure by describe command. For that, just write DESC and your table name like this. DESC, sorry, and the table name, which is table one. Sorry, table one. Hit enter. As you can see, we created a table with two column T1 ID and first name. Here, we have T1 ID and first name with the data type number and where care 2 and the size 3 and 15. Another way of creating a table is by using graphic user interface GUI in Oracle database. 
To demonstrate how to create a table using GUI, we will use SQL Developer. Let's open our SQL Developer. I am connected to HR Schema. If you do not know how to create a connection to database using SQL Developer, please watch my Oracle Database Tutorial 4 that explain database connectivity using SQL Developer and Command Prompt. Link for this video is in the description below. So let's create a table. Creating a table using SQL Developer is very easy. We do not have to fire a single query here. Let's start. First of all, right click on the connection and choose Schema Browser. This will open a separate Schema Browser pane. Or you can expand your connection by clicking this plus button and then right click on table and choose new table. However, I prefer working with the schema browser. So let's skip to schema browser pen. Here from the first drop down list, you can choose connection name. And in the second drop down list, you can choose what database object you want to work with. We want to create a table. Thus, I will choose table and click this arrow here and choose option for new table. Okay, we are in a create table wizard. First of all, give a unique name to your table and add some columns as well. For this, click this green plus button. Now, give it a name. I will give it T2 ID and specify data type. I'll go with number and you can give size here I'll give 3 you can check this not null column if in case you want to make this a mandatory column you can also specify default value and constraint if you want to make this column a primary key you can click here in my future video I will show you what are these constraints and different way of applying them on a column in a table for this video we will concentrate on create table only so when you are done with all these column, let me add one more column. And this time I will give a name T2 name, a where care, okay. And this time I will give it a size 30. Okay, just okay. So when you are done with all your column, click okay. That's your table. You can double click on your table name here and can see its structure this is our table that's it in my next video i will show you a third way of creating table using enterprise manager watch out for my soon to be uploaded next video on how to create table using enterprise manager you can visit my website www.rebellionrider.com for the in-depth knowledge of sql create table also, you can download all the resources used in this video such as presentation and the script from here. For that, just scroll down a little bit and here are the links. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from RebellionRider.com.